Welcome back, Wolfpack. Rollis here, and this is how to use Dragonite. Now, this is a Pokemon I can get excited for. Awesome stats, and just an awesome Pokemon overall. That, you know, Dragonite, one of those first Dragon Pokemon that we just got to feel. The legendary, just the power. And now we, and we get to kind of see that in the stats. That, you know, great amount of defenses and hit points that, naturally, those are going to keep you alive pretty well. Special attack means that you can have a special set on it, and the attack is just awesome. Now the speed does leave a little bit to desire to be desired, but I mean, it's a Pokemon that we can make it work. So looking at its typing, we're going to see this quite a bit in the future, that it's the Dragon Flying typing. You have a lot of weaknesses with the Dragon, Fairy, Ice, and Rock, but you can kind of get around it because Dragonite has the multi-scale ability. If at full health, it takes 50% damage, so that means those super effect effective hits aren't as worrisome, and Ice is only two times effective, which you can survive in a lot of cases. So let's hop into Pokemon Showdown and let's see how we use Dragonite. Pretty much weakness policy. Weakness policy is going to be your bread and butter with multi-scale. Problem about weakness policy, it's hard to survive a super effective hit. Not when you're Dragonite. So that's what we play around. Now the idea here is you go Jolly Nature, max out the attack, max out the speed, and just become this just beastly Pokemon. Now if you're expected to survive a super effective hit, or any hit at all from multi-scale, that's a free Dragon Dance. Free Dragon Dance means all these stats go up by quite a bit. Now you're going to have a huge attack and a huge speed, and then you just play around it from there. Extreme Speed, Dragon Claw, Thunder Punch, as well as tons of other coverage. All the elemental punches, and if we kind of like look at this set really quick, you have Outrage, uh, Fire Punch, and just Earthquake, Rock Slide, big hits. Big hits, and then with the weakness policy, you can also try to, you know, use agility with a lot of special attacks if you want to go with a crazy off-build Dragonite for special. Then, the reason why I have t Thunder Punch is a Zoomerill. As a Dragonite, Zoomerill is going to give you a bit of a problem, so with the Thunder Punch, you can just kind of throw that out there while it's trying to set up his Belly Drum and go for a KO, or just survive a play rough, get the weakness policy proc, and go for another KO from there. So, it's just kind of like my little tech, however, it does keep you, it does make you very vulnerable to Feral Thorns, so you always, there's always trade-offs with whatever you do. From there, you can go with the Choice Band Dragonite, that you just kind of choose whatever move is going to secure the most KOs, like, oh, super effective hit, just a huge hit from Outrage in general, lock yourself into that and go for it. Extreme Speed is also a good option here that, you know, the best you have right now with your Jolly Nature isn't the most speed, that you're going to have to come in with something else, and that an Extreme Speed can two-hit KO some more frail sweeper kind of Pokemon with this Choice Band setup, and it can work out from there. But pretty much this is just one of those off things that you see every once in a while, it has like 6% usage. Weakness Policy is where it's at. You can also carry a Lumberry. That Lumberry setup can work out very well. That The idea is you go Dragon Dance, use that multi-scale, and then you roost up, and you can just kind of keep keeping that multi-scale up. Because it only works when you're at full hit points, well, if you break full hit points and get back, it can happen. Lumberry works here if, if they burn a turn trying to... Well, if they lose a turn trying to burn or paralyze you, that could be some free setup for Dragon Claw and Extreme Speed after you get the Dragon Dance. And from there, you know, you're expecting to get more than one Dragon Dance. You get two or three, don't have to worry about the speed, you have a lot of hit point bulk, and Dragonite is going to do very well in these circumstances. Also, Rest Talk. Like... It's just one of those crazy gimmicky things that actually works. When using Sleep Talk, Dragon Tail doesn't have its negative priority because it just pulls the move from the Sleep Talk. If you get Dragon Dance, awesome. If you get Dragon Tail, well, that means you just did damage to them, you switched them out, and they didn't even get to attack. Rest is going to bring your multi-scale back up to full, so it's pretty much like Rest, Sleep Talk, hope for the Dragon Tail or the Dragon Dance, and then just kind of swap them out from there. Item choices? Hmm. You got a lot of item choices here that... Uh, leftovers works out pretty well. You can even carry a weakness policy on this if you want to speed things up because you're expecting to stay alive really well. And I I don't know what else. Maybe a citrus berry. I didn't I didn't think too much outside of it. That citrus berry could keep you alive in some certain situations where the rest talk is kind of like you're asleep but still taking a lot of damage. I don't know, guys. I, I just wanted to get this idea out there. And other than that, you know, Dragonite, huge Pokemon, can go for some monster sweeps. A plus three attack Pokemon with a plus one speed that's over, you know, 400 is going to ruin a lot of Pokemon's days. It all comes down to coverage, that, you know, you can forego the extreme speed, get an ice punch in there, that way at least you have a deeper coverage, or, you know, the extreme speed is nice if they have a sash or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, that's how you use Dragonite. 